Scorpio, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-June 2020. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card from the Oracle of the Unicorns. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's take a look, Scorpio. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's going to be a hell of a reading. Um, I was just, I was pulling card after card after card, and it was all like, hmm, very interesting kind of energies of love, and everything's going perfect, and, and here I am, the overall energy, the Seven of Swords. Somebody walking away, somebody turning their back here. Um, let's see. I guess we're going to have to clarify, because for now it's looking pretty darn good, but we'll see what's happening underneath it all. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Four of Wands crossed by the King of Cups. This is you participating in possibly a marriage here openly. Your heart is open. Everything is in there. Your energy is in it. Uh, in your focus here, you're preparing to take action. In your recent past, um, emotional fulfillment within yourself, within this, whatever is going on here. Uh, your strength here, the high priestess, you are very intuitive when it comes to this connection. You just know what's going on. I may mean, not quite yet, but it's looking positive on the surface. In your immediate future, you get the King of Swords. Again, this and this, this is showing me that somebody's getting ready to take action towards something, right? This is your energy supporting this reading. This is you showing up like crazy here. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the moon secrets may be at stake here. You're hoping for a brand new beginning in love and the potential outcome, possible reconciliation here. So let's see. Let me clarify that seven of swords. What you wagging your tail for? What you wagging your tail for? What is your baby boy? You're too active today. What's up? What is it? I know you want something, but I don't speak dog. The Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Hangman. Four of Wands opened up the reading there. So there's unhappiness here. There's a lot of thinking about things. But at the same time, your back is turned. So there's a lot of thinking about things, uh, possibly of walking away from this. Let's clarify the Four of Wands then. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is your person communicating something to you. Something that changes everything. Um, something's changing very fast based on a communication you might be receiving. That's why you might be considering to walk away. Let me clarify the King of Cups. The 
The King of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Sun. You somehow feel stuck here. Um, it's a very unpleasant feeling because um, your actions are telling me you have your back turned. Your feelings are telling me I can't go away. There's too much love, there's too much attraction here. And because your feelings are telling you that, they're also telling you this is your happiness. But at the same time, it feels like, it kind of feels like an addiction, to be honest with you, to you as well, not to me. Um, oh, let's, uh, let's do the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Uh, you're thinking about ways to take action towards possibly this. I feel like something uh, has been coming out. Something has been let out by your person. Something that's uh, placed you in this energy of you wanting to walk away but at the same time feeling like you can't and wanting to still work on things but don't know how and you know there's a lot of going back and forth here for you in energies and i feel like it all started from this communication here um let's see that high priestess Wow. Okay, uh, for the High Priestess, you get the Hermit, the High Priestess again, and the Fool. You feel like your intuition is telling you to not let this go, to fight for it, to, to give it another chance here. Um, and to be honest, I feel like you're very in tune with your intuition. That's why there's a struggle. Because, yeah, internally you might be feeling that maybe you want to give it another go. Externally, everything points out to you leaving the situation. Uh, let's clarify the King of Swords. For your immediate future. The Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Yeah, I see you giving it another go. Trying to reestablish some sort of a connection here, of a partnership between the two of you. Even if it is friendship, you know, if it starts off like that, you want something brand new here with this person. Let me clarify the Death card. The Five of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Hierophant could be marriage or long-term commitment for a lot of you. I feel like there's been unhappiness here for a very long time between the two of you. Something's definitely ending here. It could be just this unhappiness that the two of you carried for so long that it's ending. Uh, it could be that the connection is ending. Let me clarify the moon in the hidden energies. Yeah, you're not going to let this go, Scorpio. You're hanging on to this. You're like, no way I'm letting this go. Uh, energetically, at least. Again, physically, it shows up as you being long gone. Like, I'm out. I don't need this. I'm out. Emotionally, energetically, you're holding on to this like crazy uh let me do the ace of cups the 
King of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Empress. Yeah, th that's in your hopes. Um, that's you showing up as taking action and bringing love to this person, having your heart open to this person, pretty much. Let me clarify the Three of Cups for the potential outcome. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Swords. For a lot of you, there could be kids involved, and this is why you're going to give it another go, possibly. That's the main reason. Uh, for others... There's still love here between the two of you. And at least on your side, you want to get this going. You want to... And again, it's not showing up physically quite yet. It will. So let's say you're watching this reading and then in two weeks you're like, Oh, fuck. I do love this person. You know? It happens. Um especially when or if you're refusing to connect with yourself at that level to see how you actually feel um so yeah again physically you show up as wanting to go emotionally you show up as wanting to stay and make things work let's see what the universe has Somebody here wants to make things right. And I feel like this is your person. I feel like this is the both of you wanting to somehow make things more balanced between the two of you. Somehow. You know. Um, let's see what the unicorns have. It's very... Um, because I feel the, the energy is going through you and out of you, pretty much. And it's very... They don't stick in one place, you know? It's very... Not confusing. Um, not disturbing. I don't even know what word to put on that. Not stable. You know, it's, it doesn't feel stable. From the Oracle of the Unicorns, you get delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect, eh, expect the best. So, Scorpio, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and hope you find your balance within yourself. Um, you know, see you next time. Bye.